Welcome back. With the holiday season comes holiday hirings to keep up with shopping demand. But those job postings you see may not be exactly what they see as scammers are trying to look for some new targets. So to help you avoid falling victim, Sarah Wetzel with the BBB is here in studio with us to help us not become victim to these types of scams. So these scams were actually listed as the second riskiest yes. uh, in 2023. That would have been last year. Why mm -hmm. is that? Yeah, well, what we're seeing is people reporting these scams. They're going to well-known websites and they think that they can trust them. But unfortunately, scammers are inf infiltrating them. Mm -hmm. So things like Indeed.com. We had a consumer tell us in that scam tracker that they went to Indeed.com. They saw a posting for USPS. Mm -hmm. They thought it was legitimate. When they applied, they later got contacted by a hiring service out of Texas, which raised a red flag. Luckily, they didn't give any information because it was a scam. Yeah. They ended up reaching out to the United States Postal Service and they said they're only going to post jobs on their website. So that's why consumers just have to be so careful because when they think they're being, you know, they're at a good place, right. scammers are getting in there. Well, and then you think too, even the information that you have to put on a job application, exactly. that's a lot of your personal information. Yep. And that's what the scammers are wanting. They're trying to get you to give that personal information and maybe even some financial information as well. And taking advantage of the fact that you're Absolutely. just looking for a little extra cash. Yep. All right. So are these scams coming from online postings or elsewhere? Is it kind of a mix? It is a mix. Yeah. We actually saw one from a newspaper that a consumer reported that was a scam. So unfortunately, you have to look everywhere, whether you're online or if you see something in print as well. Good advice. And what are some of the specific red flags that people need to be watching out for? Is there a specific, specific verbiage maybe in the post that yeah. could be a red flag? Well, one thing is just employers are not going to ask for money up front for you to have the job. So you need to be aware if companies are asking you to pay for things like your own job supplies or if they're asking for an application or training fee. This is something that the employer should pay for themselves. So if they're asking for money up front, that's a red flag that this is a bad deal. You sure. should not do that. Another red flag is if they offer you a job with no job interview. Even at peak hiring season, reputable companies are going to want to meet you in person, whether it's virtually or face to face. So if you're offered a job without an interview, ask them about their hiring process and do a little bit of digging yourself. And then also be wary of their pro if they're promising you a lot of pay for a small job, mm -hmm. just like stuffing envelopes or answering phones. This is just to reel you in, to try to get your information, fill out the application to get that personal information <laughs> we were talking about. Right. A lot of this, I think, goes back to what kind of company and what kind of yes. employer do you want to work for? Right. I don't want to work for somebody that makes me pay to work for exactly. them. Exactly. <laughs> yes. And just double check. If you yeah. have any questions, call that company yourself. See if the posting is legitimate, if that job's even available, or if you are part of a scam. Do your research for Absolutely. sure. All right, Sarah, always good to have you. Thanks for walking us through that. And Thank remember, you. you can always check a business's rating or report a scam by going to BBB.org. Uh, here's what's coming up next in our next half hour.